Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, January 14th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? January 14th. January 14th. What is the viewer need to see in here for today? Okay, so let's see here. Uh, the gift. So, you know, life will be as, as grand as you make it, really. Um, you can live inside of a box or come out of your shell and maybe experience new things. This is about allowing change to come in, making the best of everything. And then um, the Laureate. So there's really this sense of perhaps um, connecting or waiting for something or um, communication. Uh, there's also a sense of being able to touch into your, um, you know, your um, stability, like a sense of having stability for yourself. Um, and then you have secrets. So, wow, yesterday's secrets came out as well. So do you possess something that you're you're not speaking about and it's sort of holding you back, but you hold the key to be able to um, allow you to maybe let let things off your chest or maybe uh, is this the opposite where you're not seeing the truth where you're uh, somehow blocked by it okay uh, and then you have um, maybe things or secrets are going to be exposed to you as well uh, and then you have the the home and the key um, so this is definitely maybe a sense of Either moving homes, moving locations, whether it's it's business or personal, uh, there's this is also the sense of you make home what it is. Okay, so maybe you're searching for a little bit more depth, um, a sense of maybe even clarity in a home or something where the home isn't so a fill of anxiousness or something like that. Maybe you're just feeling restless. You know, that's what I feel like. So welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate you guys liking and sharing and subscribing. And I truly do appreciate you guys. Let's see. At the bottom, you've got the mermaid's love. Um, so is this something that you're not exposing with the secrets? I feel like it's definitely something that um, if you're not exposing to yourself or to others, um, it sort of makes you feel like, you know, maybe that anxiousness that that sort of repressive kind of feeling that it feels like and then all connected so this is really where you can flow your energy wherever spirit is guiding you to um, and really stay focused it's about staying focused and allowing yourself to maybe shift into a different direction or even um you know even if you feel like you're coming to pieces it's like everything will turn out okay. That's definitely what that feels like. So let's see what these mean for you guys. Um, the gift. What is the gift, please? Card 23. The gift. Um, so opening up. Maybe this is you or someone else in your environment that's getting ready to come out of the... the you know, come out of the shadows or come out of uh, maybe some seclusion or um, something like this. It feels as if you're going to be getting some sort of message or some sort of offer um, on the emotional side. Maybe this is also an apology. The Knight of Cups could definitely be an, apart an, an apology coming in of some sort. Um, I do feel like this is something that if you're making the move or it's someone else is making a move, it's it's definitely the, the kind of feeling of you going out of your ordinary, you know, you stepping out of out of the box that you normally are in. Um, maybe this is the time that you choose to perhaps, um, you know, do something that otherwise you might be holding yourself back and not really enjoying life. Um, the Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups, please? Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups, please? The Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Okay, and you have the Star card. Um, I'm sorry, it's not the Star card. It's the Three of Cups. So, um, do you have this sort of calling to maybe feel unified, you know, within yourself? Is, is this a call to maybe a reunion? 
um, you know, definitely if this is a, um, like a, uh, what do you call it? A apology. Maybe this is where you make amends with something. And if it's not making it with other people, it definitely could be making it for yourself. Meaning, you know, um, starting off clean, um, maybe forgiveness of yourself, if not of another, um, there's really this sense of coming together. Uh, and I do feel like this in a sense makes you feel whole. Um, it is a three and it's really that kind of wholeness of, um, you know, spirit, your mind, your body, your spirit. Um, so what is the three of cups, please? The three of cups. What's the three of cups here? You have the eight of wands, the magician and the seven of cups. So this is where you're being pulled towards maybe starting out fresh. With the magician, it's really telling you the universe has your back, okay? Uh, with whatever, um, whichever direction you want to go to, it's really backing you. Um, there's really this sense of maybe refound kind of um, energy to start over or the sense of maybe even recognizing that you have the power to shift yourself. Um, and it's something different that you want to do. It's something that, like I said, it's out of the normal for you. Maybe you're just seeing the beauty within yourself that you can really start to change your life and manifest, because this is the manifestor card, manifest something great, great. So is this you manifesting maybe a reunion? Uh, maybe you manifesting a sense of an apology or even some sort of, um, I feel like it's a new opportunity with the eight of wands and the seven of cups maybe taking action on a new opportunity, something that you could have sort of like held back from doing, um, not really knowing how to do it or how to go about it, you know? Um, I do feel the gift is that maybe you're learning that you can control your either your future or, or your dreams, you know, your dreams meaning how you manifest. Um, so let's see, what is the seven of cups? The seven of cups is like um you've been waiting for an opportunity did you did you make the wrong choice before and now you're ready to make the wrong the right choice seven of cups please seven of cups so you have the two of wands and then you have the queen the queen of wands in reverse so maybe this is definitely that sense of wanting to go towards someone um maybe planning to move towards someone uh, there could have been some sort of outing with this person was something done in haste um, with the Queen of Wands in reverse? Is this somebody getting revenge on you for something quick, some kind of quick action um, with the Eight of Wands? Um, there's almost a sense of remorse also, I feel. Uh, but with the, the Two of Wands, I just realized it is in reverse. Um, I mean, this could definitely be some sort of delay um, with it in your, in your, um, like maybe not being able to, to work on something or maybe something that just maybe like a obstacle was placed there. But with this queen of wands in reverse, did you reject this queen of wands in reverse? Meaning you made a quick judgment not to maybe, uh, continue with this person or, in a sense, maybe you made a wrong choice really hastily. Did you say something and it's almost like you want to revert it and start it over again? Maybe apologize for something? Um, I do feel with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I mean, if it's married, if you're married, this also could be somebody that is um, unfaithful to you. Have you recognized this? And this is why maybe you're feeling a bit of uneasiness. Um, definitely, I, I do feel like there's something there. As far as um, maybe, you know, some kind of physical suffering or um, a sense where you need to somehow have some kind of courage to move forward again. And maybe something was done in haste. Maybe that's why there's an apology there. What is the, the um, I want one, one more for the Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. One more. Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. What is that? Okay, so you got the eight, eight of cups 
and the death card. See, you ended something and you might end it something that was very soulful, very soulful connection. And if it wasn't you, maybe this was done to you. Um, and then you got the nine of wands, which is definitely this kind of thing where do you allow it to change? Do you allow it to continue the way you are? Do you get the courage to come up and maybe set boundaries on maybe on, on yourself or the person or on a situation? Um, uh, meaning like there's a sense of, um, maybe you had to walk away to have a transformation to become whole again. Um, what's the eight of cups? eight of cups and do you feel like this person in the sense of where the where the queen of wands is in reverse and i feel revenge do you think this person is revengeful revengeful against you um because you walked away and you don't know how to approach the situation eight of cups please eight of cups what is the eight of cups okay it said that one so the ten of cups you walked away from something that could have totally made you happy with the seven of cups it's definitely what it looks like like holy crap, maybe I made the wrong choice, you know? Uh, you might have not known or wasn't, um, maybe you, like, what I feel from this Seven of Cups is maybe you just weren't um, in the right state of mind or something happened here. Um, you walked away from something happy. It could have been maybe because, you know, you were unhealthy or you needed to become healthy with the death card, uh, have some kind of transformation. Now, the Eight of Wands does speak of rapid communication. Is this rapid communication that's coming to you or was this from the past? Um, I do feel like it's almost as if it happened somewhat in the past, but you're trying to get yourself out of it. Maybe trying to figure out how to approach this person that you think is going to be revengeful or uh, somewhat maybe... Um, you know, a person that you might, it might take a lot to apologize to the, this person, maybe because you have a lot of feelings for them and you turn them somewhat away from you. Okay. For some of you, um, I want to know, let's see the laureate, the laureate, please. What's the laureate? And that is number 31, 31. You're still attached to the situation, obviously. Um, even you're at a, at a distance, there's still this sense when I'm looking at this card, there's still this sense of being attached to it. Um, whatever it is, whether it's love, whether it's, uh, family or, or work or something. Um, it's almost like you're waiting for a change is what it feels like. Okay. Um, maybe a smooth transition. Maybe you're looking for a smooth trans transition to something. Um, Laureate. Yes. Okay. So you got the, you got the six of wands so having some kind of victory coming out of a, a place where maybe there's been a lot of uh you know not so healthy environment or some sort of bang up some kind of battle that you've been in um the six of wands please six of wands so you have the page of pentacles and the fool um wanting to start over wanting to take that leap of faith um, maybe needing to recognize, um, you know, a situation. Maybe you were immature about a situation and it's almost a sense of where you want to sort of wipe that slate clean and come out of maybe the negativity if you were held in something negative. Um, what is the fool? What is the fool? The king of swords. So thinking about it, communicating. Uh, this is a sense of clarity, the sense of perhaps maturing about a situation. Um this is really the sense of needing to um, take some sort of action. I feel this per person has become more spiritual, which is allowing them to tap into um, how to get rid of things, you know, how to get rid of the old baggage, the old clutter. But it's bringing truth. This is a person who's going to come back into your life and just sort of shoot shoot all the truth at you. And you're going to sort of be like, whoa, like, hold, hold on, like, slow down. See, there we go. There's... There's this kind of, um, with the bottom of the deck, the, the the Knight of Wands, and then the Emperor at the top of the deck. It's almost like needing to take this step to go forward. What is the Page of Pentacles? Maybe you're getting a gift from this person. It could be the gift of a surprise element, like, um, you know, like a call, let's get together, or uh, something like that. Because I do feel there's still an attachment here, and it's something that was stable, or had the the ability to be stable, Okay. What is the page of pentacles? Right, one in the middle. Page of pentacles, please. Okay, so you have the ace of cups. 
see that it could have been everything you wanted especially you got the ten of cups here uh, this is something that um, you definitely uh, I think you still want to revisit I think you're walking towards it but there's a fear of being rejected or or you know maybe this is somebody who's sort of um, I don't mean like hot tempered like in a sense of um, <clears throat> like a like I feel it's more of a, a person that's very uh, somewhat just passionate you know I don't feel it's a, a person who's negative I just feel it's like a person that it's gonna tell you right back I think you can tell them stuff but they're gonna tell you right back in other words spunky there you go um that's what they said spunky um six of wands give me one more for the six of wands please the six of wands so this is definitely that new path you've had a long time to think about this situation it's not anything that's just happening to you overnight it's taken a definite transformation a sense of maybe being balanced again within yourself to make choices um but the hermit is really this calling um, and I don't think that uh, that spirit's giving up on you because I feel with the hermit in, in reverse, you have sort of um, have avoided maybe advice or maybe even take taken wrong advice from someone. Um, but I feel like with the king of swords here, it's almost like you have your head on your shoulders now. Um, give me one for the, the hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Okay, so you got the ace of swords. And the page of wands so this is really that that sense of um, um, you know maybe something's burned out something has gone away um, it's almost like there's a sense of maybe with the ace of swords some kind of truth is coming up um, and definitely I do feel, is this like time sensitive? You're feeling like it's time sensitive with the page of wands in reverse. I feel like there's a sense of uh, you think, maybe you think this person is really out to get you or something like that. Um, no, it's, I think it's just because you have to face up to somebody. That's what it feels like. Uh, probably because you made the wrong choice or probably because you need to make a choice. Uh, what is the page of wands the page of wands please page of wands so the queen of swords see this is your equal this is the person that like i said the king of swords can dish it out and say it and so can the queen of swords so this is your equal but maybe there's a little hesitation um may, maybe making contact with this person but yet it's what spirit is calling you to do and maybe you're just thinking about how to handle the situation without letting it go out meaning you're you're treading on thin water um as far as how to delay um how to relay this message or how to explain yourself um maybe how how um you know how do you had to go how you had to go through transformations or changes and things like that because the ace of cups and the the um page of pentacles it's definitely that message of you know what i want to start over i i want i want to start again uh there is love there with the ace of ace of cups and there is definitely truth there okay with the queen of swords and the king of swords so let's see what are the secrets so you have to come clean Okay, the Queen of Swords. So you have to have, you sort of have to pull yourself into what? Into having self-love. Um, maybe following the intuition with the Hermit in reverse. It's maybe somebody who is hesitating or not listening to the signs or not listening to their destiny as far as the way destiny wants to pull you. Okay, but is is the Queen of Swords, I mean, the Queen of Cups telling you you have secret love for this person and you haven't quite exposed it? Um, what is the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups. Is somebody holding you back from being able to say these things that you want to say to somebody or to take action in a certain situation? What is the Queen of Cups? Okay, so you got the world, the world and the five of swords in reverse fell down, which it could have came out anyway, but um five of swords, the strength card, and the wheel of fortune so this is this is either you can take it in, in both interpretations 
Um, either this is where you have to surrender to allow this new cycle to come in with the Queen of Cups. Or this is definitely the sense of having courage to end something. Because with the wheel and the world, and it's funny because you know what? These two cards still keep coming out. And probably the last three or four readings that I've done, the world and the wheel keep coming out. So is this because you're not surrendering to these cycles, allowing you to have a new beginning? Um, is this where you need to surrender to maybe tell somebody you love them? Or is this a surrender to walking away from someone who's causing you a lot of trouble? Getting courage, you know, to walk away from someone. This could be someone that's more immature. This could be someone who maybe knows how to somehow push your buttons, especially with the Five of Swords there. Um, what is the Five of Swords? So it can go either way where you're, you're needing to needing to surrender to tell this person or to allow yourself to have this kind of love or or the opposite maybe you're trying to end something with someone that causes you conflict five of swords please what is the five of swords are you scared to leave somebody that's going to give you revenge meaning mess things up for you you know try to get in the middle of you starting up again or something like that you got the moon because there's fear there i definitely do feel there's fear there um, so maybe you need the courage to walk away from a situation, a standing situation, maybe a marriage, a uh, living girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, with the moon, they could be somebody who's very, um, you know, they know how to push your buttons. I see that. Um, maybe a sense of causing fear and conflict in you. Um, maybe they know of the other person as well. Uh, what is the moon? What is the moon? What is the moon? Okay, so see, um, this is this is it. It's funny because you got the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is in reverse. So are you thinking about it? Are you thinking, how do I do this? How do I stand up for myself uh, to fight for maybe something that you want to return to with the Six of Cups? Um, definitely that sense of needing to let go of the fear. Because it's, if it's something you're questioning on how you move forward with the Seven of Wands, I mean, your success would come with you standing up for something, okay? Um, but in the ver reverse, it definitely could be where maybe you're feeling threatened or um, in indecision, you know? You just don't know how do you go back to this. Um, and definitely with the moon, there's really this sense of um, having some kind of fear um yeah like scared is it because you did wrong to this person or um maybe this is like a third party situation where you're definitely in the sense of um not knowing how to start the new but you've got to end something as well um yeah it's like you have to end something as well to be able to start something so there's a lot of secrets that you're holding that need to come up and you need to expose them. You need to speak them. You need to accept them so that you can move on. Or it's a really kind of feeling where you just stay blocked, okay? Which is not a good sign. Um, yeah, so like don't reject or have tendencies to walk away from this destiny that's really trying to pan out for you. Um, I definitely do feel like this is you needing to maybe... Um, like gain peace within yourself with the moon and in, in, in reverse meaning allowing yourself to change so you can have peace um, it's almost also when you move into something with the five of swords and the moon it's you moving into something but without fear um, so is this what you're just waiting to sort of burst out like you want to stand up for the six of cups and like I said, with the seven of wands in reverse, you're going to get your victory by doing it, by not really thinking, by not staying stuck in a dead end cycle uh, with the five of swords and the strength card. You need some kind of courage there. Um, what is the home in the sky? 41, home in the sky. And this, you could be changing. So you could be changing either corporations, businesses. Um, maybe even ending divorce, I feel, because it's a sense of moving away from it. Um, is this you maybe taking the knowledge or the wisdom uh, with you? Maybe you've learned a really bad karmic cycle with the, the hierophant there. Um, and it's actually telling you not to be so hard on yourself. 
Uh, what is the Hierophant, please? The Hierophant. So see, the judgment. Release it. Um, don't hold yourself back. You hold the key. Just like with this picture right here. I know we're speaking about this one, but it takes me back to you're, you're holding the key to your destiny. Um, to you moving to where it makes you completely happy. Okay? Uh, for whoever this is, whether this is you or your person, what is the judgment? You know that judgment is surrender everything, accept it, release the negativity, and you'll have a second chance. So is this a second chance for you? Um, some of you might have lost the home. Um, don't worry, you're going to get a new home, they said. Okay, uh, And that is not for everybody. It could be specific for some of you. Um, you will have a second opportunity and you see to start over again um, and if it's not a home that you've lost it's almost as if you got to surrender to be able to start again okay with the the page of cups so definitely some kind of love message is coming in I think is it the sense of having self-love for yourself or the sense of being able to manifest everything with the, the Empress manifest uh, really keeping your faith and really being able to um, be fertile and abundant. Is this a message to the, the Empress, you know? Um, maybe it's a second chance with the Empress. You got the Three of Wands. So this is definitely that sense of um, moving forward, um, making things happen, uh, maybe waiting for this for a long time to happen. And there is a sadness here missing, okay, missing your Empress. And the, the devil also is at the top in the four of swords so maybe needing to end like um toxic attachments or bad habits or something like that um yeah so there's a lot going on there um i want to know how does the story end for today please how does the story end for today oh i caught him guys i caught him so the death card we saw this twice so this definitely could be a sense of transformation, a sense of letting go, um, letting go of the grief and the things that just haven't worked out for you so that you can start up again. Um, and the fool, you got the fool as well again. And this fool already took the leap. So somebody's taking that leap, guy, um, guys. So two of pentacles walking away from juggling, uh, making good decisions, really handling that worry and that anxiousness. And then there you have it. The Three of Swords, I'm sorry, the Three of Cups, which is that reunion. Um, but you're also walking away from treachery. So is this walking away from a horrible situation, being able to bring yourself into a celebratory kind of situation? Okay, maybe a reunion. This could be community. This could be environment. This definitely could be the sense of being happy again and really escaping something very... Um, dishonest remember in the very beginning i said uh, maybe you found out somebody is just not honest with you someone's cheating you someone that y you might feel either revengeful to them or they might feel that way to you so that's the seven of swords energy right there okay so let's see um what is this karmic cycle here what can you tell me about it how will it end what is the karmic cycle how will it end please the karmic cycle and how will it end? So passion, um, insane chemistry, um, liking each other equally, having fun. So this is somebody fun. Um, remember I told you there's a person here that is very, um, like a, you know, very fiery. Of course, Queen of Wands is that, but it's a person that you can joke around with and have fun. So addiction, codependent, obsessive, uh, possessive, controlling. This is the younger energy with the, the that uh, queen of cups the, the person that knows how to push your buttons they've kept you on a place of being maybe they're codependent on you and you can't leave so kisses unconditional love giving and receiving affection okay um i do feel like this is a battle of somebody maybe stuck to a karmic partner that's very codependent okay um <clears throat> let's see so healthy choices Making better choices for yourself, whoever this is, either for you or for them. I do see better things coming in. So let's see here. This one right here. So need time, takes time. So don't rush it. There's patience that are still needed. And then talking, um, interested in conversing. Um, so definitely a message coming in, okay? Some kind of communication. 
And then the Grim Reaper, a relationship is over. Um, so no second chances. Um, so this could be for the karmic partner, you know. Uh, I definitely do feel there's a karmic there. And I feel there's someone that they turn their back to. Maybe made the wrong choice, guys, okay. Um, so let's see here. What is the insight for today, please? The insight. What is the insight for today? The insight, please. Okay. And it says, trust your inner knowing. Only you know what's right for you. If you listen to your own voice, you will know what path to take and what choice to make. And that's why the hermit's in reverse. You just don't know. Um, don't listen to other people. Listen to your soul. Listen to yourself, okay? Because other people might tell you what to do because it's to their best interest, not yours, okay? Just putting it out there. And then uh, what is the mermaid message for today? The mermaid message, please. The mermaid. Okay, so contentment. Um, being content. Really finding yourself. Really having self-love. Continue to have your faith and manifest the things that you want. Okay, and then with this one, please, what is the message with this one? Okay, so you have, um, let's see, forgiveness. And remember, I told you, maybe there's a person who's forgiving themselves. Um, and maybe this is someone that, or maybe this is you that needs forgiveness, okay? And then animals, so really keeping your energy high, always having animals. And that's why I have so many. You guys would die. I have so many animals. I have chickens, I have rabbits, I have cats, I have dogs, I have turtles. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm a total animal hoarder. Yeah, I'm guilty. Okay, but um, they make you happy. What can I say? All right, what's the message for their chakra? For their chakra in this reading, what's the message, please? For their chakra. Like this one right here. Okay, so the gift, the command, throat chakra. Someone needs to speak up. Isn't that the truth? Yes. So work on your throat chakra, you guys. Because somebody wants to say something. Definitely. Okay. And so let's see here. What is the Kuan Yin for today? The Kuan Yin. What's the Kuan Yin? Okay. All right. So we'll take the bottom one. Okay. And it's this one right here. Um, it says... The phoenix will rise. You are not permitted to enter into the divine fire of personal transformations unless you are capable and worthy of challenge. The reward bestowed at the other side of the journey in such is that all suffering throughout is redeemed. No matter what struggle you have endured, endured you shall rise again. This is your destiny. Yes, and I see that happening, guys. Second chances, okay, all over the board. So let's end it with the romance angels. What can you show them as far as love and romance? So forgiving and learning as you release, that you heal the past, okay? And set yourself free. It's time to take back control of your life. This is someone who's on that edge, you know? Uh, maybe been living for others or maybe living in a sense of um, uh, a codependent relationship. So passion, passion and give your relationship a try. So maybe this is somebody that you need to try something that you weren't able to try before. Okay, if you get my drift. Okay, so there you go. I do hope you like the reading. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for spending time with me. I will continue to pray for you in this world that we're living and just stay strong, guys. Stay strong and healthy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful day, guys.